So I could say that irregardless is a word that gets your attention. You have been told all your life that this is not a word that you're supposed to use because it's a double negative. But I have a certain impish quality about me, uh, a little bit of a contrarian. If everybody's going one way, I want to go a different way. So with a name like Irregardless, I'm telling you up front that this is not your normal restaurant. This is not even your normal business. And I need for you to make the effort to come in and see for yourself to see what the contrarian is trying to do for you. So the thing that's fascinating about Irregardless and the dining scene in Raleigh 42 years ago is, is that the most popular type of cuisine at that point was the cafeteria. So opening up at, with a restaurant that gave full service was unique unto itself. Unfortunately, when people would say, well, what kind of food do they serve? And we, they would say carrots and sprouts because we were a vegetarian and a health-oriented restaurant. People would respond by saying, well, that's what my horse eats. That's not something I want to eat. So it took a lot of effort to get people to try something that, because of the contrarian, that was different than what they expected. And then we were impressed upon to make sure that we delivered. So since the beginning, by being one of the first places to actually offer full service uh, in a marketplace where people weren't yet expecting it, really separated us from the competition. The advantage of 42 years is, is that I've had the chance to inculcate my entire staff into the attitude of what does it mean to really truly bring hospitality. It means that we stop thinking about what's in it for us and we start thinking about how can we make this the most comfortable, enjoyable experience for our customers. And I'm proud to say that 42 years later, we're doing a really good job with that. The interesting thing about Irregardless's cuisine is, is, is that it has always been plant-based. So we started out as a vegetarian restaurant and we were using a lot of dairy and um, butter to try and make the vegetables taste good for someone who might not normally think of having a vegetarian meal. It made me realize that we were also, in a sense, not doing anything better by not offering a vegan without animal products in it. So we evolved. And then I would say every seven years we added another protein. So we started with fish, then we added poultry, we added beef. So whether you're a meat eater or a vegetarian, we're still a plant-based menu. The advantage of sourcing the food locally, it gives you a smaller footprint in terms of the carbon that it takes to grow it and produce it and get it to us. It also uh, by using local produce allows us to get much more flavor and it also supports the local farm community. Irregardless has a unique position in that we started our own farm uh, about five years ago so I would almost like to say Irregardless is the first seed to table restaurant. We're growing our own vegetables that we use here in the restaurant and you can just feel the vitality. You know, you leave here with a, a good feeling in your mouth and then a good feeling in your gut and then the next day you feel even better. My uh, philosophy is basically I'm an old hippie and what did the hippies say? Make love, not war, and take care of the planet. So I'm still trying to follow those uh, beliefs. And one of the things that the hippies in that time of life really uh, made available was live music. And so since we opened the restaurant in 1975, we have had live music every night and every brunch for 42 years. It's pretty incredible, and it has tied us into the local music scene to the point where now I almost think of myself as an impresario. That every night, not only am I providing for great food and service, but I am highlighting that with live music. This, I think, gives us uh, an advantage over our competitors because you can certainly go out to eat in over 2,000 restaurants in Raleigh today, but how many of them are complimenting it with live music? Not too many. So that uniqueness, that value added, um, I think has distinguished us and allowed us to be such a popular place for 42 years. The upshot of that is, is if you spend a little bit of money every day for 42 years, I think I'm close to $2 million now invested in the local music scene. And I'm very proud of that because I think that has made Raleigh, irregardless, 
uh, a unique place for art and music and cuisine.